level, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. God, what a good group tonight. Yeah, and we're not filming tonight. We were the other night, and the audience was asleep. <laughs> no, no, they weren't asleep. They weren't asleep. But they weren't as hip as you people are. Uh, See, a lot of young people come to my show. I had a 15-year-old kid here about two weeks ago, and he saw the show, and then afterwards he went up to me and he said, Rich, God, you were great, but loved the show. Very, very funny. Uh, can I ask you something, though? And I said, well, of course, anything, what? Why do you keep changing your voice? <laughs> and my other hobby, believe it or not, was art. Charcoal portraits. And I've done hundreds of them down through the years. Here are a few. Tony Bennett, Humphrey Bogart, Betty Davis, and Tom Cruise. Mr. Jack Benny. Little was a good friend of mine. And years ago, I used to accompany Rich when he went to church. I remember one Sunday, we were walking out of the church, and I casually said to the preacher, gee, that, that was a damn good sermon. <laughs> and the preacher said, thank you, Jack, but listen. I would appreciate it if you wouldn't use language like that in the house of the Lord. I said, I'm sorry. All I said was, it was a damn good sermon. <laughs> and the reason I said it was, you're a hell of a preacher. <laughs> Mr. George Burns. George Burns, welcome to the Hollywood Palace, the show that six people remember. <laughs> we got a great show for you tonight. Connie Stevens is here from Hawaiian Eye, and we've got a young singer on the show tonight. His name is Wayne Newton, and believe me, this, this kid is going places. Gee, I hope soon. <laughs> We've also got a young impersonator on the show tonight. His name is Rich Little, and he comes from Canada. Do you know that Rich, Rich does an impression of me? It's unbelievable how good it is. You don't know who the real George Burns is. I don't know whether I'm him or he's me. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be interesting. What the hell is Andy Rooney gonna be saying to me? Here's exactly what he said. Are you Rich Little, the guy that imitates all those celebrities on television? I said, yes. Yes, I am, sir. That's, that's true. And you go around the country performing in casinos and clubs and concert halls? I said, yes. Yes, I do. That, that's true. And those places have a lot of money, don't they? I said, well, yeah, the casinos certainly have a lot of money. That's true. Well, if they have a lot of money, what the hell do they need you for? <laughs> Why don't they get the real people? <laughs> so I'm standing there like an idiot going, yeah, why don't they get the real people? <laughs> oh, oh, this was my all-time favorite. This was the best one-liner I ever heard Paul throw. Three people went right out of the square, and they were killed instantly. They were never seen again because of this. Wait till you hear this question, uh, this answer. Paul, what does an 85-year-old woman have between her breasts 
that an 18-year-old woman does not. Her navel. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's nice being here, and I hope you don't mind the way I walked out. It's just my impression of Rich Little. <laughs> you know, I had to be the toughest actor that ever lived. I was so tough that every single morning I took a bath in ice water. That's how tough I was. Every morning, ice water. And I said to him, I said, Jimmer, are you all right? And he said, well, I, I, Rich, I, 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 not, not really. Uh, this morning, this morning, I, I was back in my car out of the garage, and I backed into a tree on our front lawn. Tree. I said, well, Jim, we all have accidents like that, you know, so long as you're okay, you know. And then I thought of something. I said, Jim, did you know that most accidents occur within a nine mile radius of where you live? Did you know this? And Jimmy thought for a second and he said, yep, yep, I, I know that, Rich, and, and that's why Gloria and I are moving. <laughs> Rich, thank God you're here because you do me better than I do, so you finish this damn press conference. And all I ask is don't get us into a war. Pizza pie, that's some more. Did you hear about the angry deer who stumbled out of the forest and said, Boy, that's the last time I'll do that for ten bucks? <laughs> I know you love me tonight, but will you respect me in the morning? <laughs> ah, this is Johnny Carson, and welcome to The Tonight Show. Tonight in the show, we've got Rich Little is on the show tonight. Yeah. Will you please welcome that world-famous psychic? He sees all, he knows all. The one, the only, Karnak the Magnificent. Yeah. Thank you, Piano Breath. <laughs> this is Karnak, Karnak the Magnificent. Ho, ho, ho. Quiet, quiet please. <laughs> it wears out the camel. It wears out the camel. <laughs> Why don't they have sex education and driving instructions on the same day in Iraq? 